a nice bright day outside. There's virtually no clouds in the sky right now, which has been weird because the past couple of months we've had nothing but uh, clouds, day and night. Anyway, uh, but I'm going to talk about viewing the sun with the telescope. It can be done, but you need the proper equipment. And I must tell you, it's very, very important that you have the proper equipment. And in this case, the proper equipment is a solar filter. And I have got a glass uh, solar filter that I'm going to use. And it will go over the end of the telescope uh, where the sun, where the light comes in. Take a closer look at this solar filter that I've purchased here. It's made by Spectrum Telescopes. And it's ST650G, which is a solar filter ID of 6.5 inches or 165 millimeters. It's got a clear aperture of 5 inches, which is 127 millimeters. Now what that means is it means it's got an inside diameter inside here of 6.5 inches all right and that actually goes on the outside of your telescope and then it's got a what they call a clear aperture of five inches is from the edge of the metal to the edge of the metal is five inches and that's what they call the clear aperture all right now on the inside there is a small felt uh not felt but uh, styro it's not really styrofoam anyway there's some kind of padding in here so it doesn't rub on the metal of the outside of the end of the telescope whenever you put it on but it just slides right over it and then like I say there's one uh, thumb screw on it to tighten it around the tighten it around the telescope once you slide it on you tighten it down keep it to keep it in place all right now it comes with uh, extra padding in case your telescope is a little bit smaller than six and a half inches so you can actually put pieces of felt in here and it's sticky backed so it can go in here like this to help reduce the size of your telescope down so it'll fit something just a little bit smaller all right now like i say this is a glass uh filter they make a mylar filter that will do that does the same thing uh, the white light and like i say it goes directly over the front of the lens the front of the telescope and then there's one and this completely covers it as you can see and it's got one lockdown on it right now what this is going to do is this is going to knock down all the light the visible light and this is a what they call a white light filter so you don't get the uh, tones of the sun and like you would through a, a solar telescope with uh, different filters, and uh, you don't see anything, any of the flares or anything coming off the, the edges of the sun. You just see the circle of the sun, and you can see if there's any uh, uh, sunspots on the sun. You can still make those out just fine, and it's pretty neat, and it's got an eclipse coming up or something like that it's great for it it's what you have to use for the eclipse until the sun is completely covered by the moon and that's a hundred percent coverage not just half of it or it's got to be com a complete solar eclipse in order to, to be able to take off this filter if it's not a complete solar eclipse never take the filter off and never view the sun without it uh, through through your eyepieces. It will blind you. You can't even attach a camera to it to, to take pictures. You'll ruin the camera as well, the sensor. Uh, so you want to make sure that you always have the solar filter on the end of your telescope. Now what I'll do is I'll show you how I align the telescope with the sun. As you notice, I have no uh, finder scope or finder scope or a red dot sight or anything on it because I don't want to look at the sun but there's a quick easy way to align it and what you do you take the scope and you slew it around to where the sun's going to be in the position what you can do is you can actually 
use the uh, uh, shadow of the telescope to help you define where you're looking at. So as you move it around and up, the shadow goes from a long gated telescope, just like a shadow of the telescope, and as you move it into position, it will actually become a round circle on your on the ground. It won't have any other shadows to it. And then once you get the shadow in a circle like that, then you can actually, then you can look through the eyepiece and align it. Because uh, once you get the shadow in there round, once you get the shadow round like that, then you're pretty much within somewhere within your uh, view, view of the sun. So then you can do, do your fine tuning adjustments through your filter. But like I say, I want to make sure that you understand you never look at the sun unless you have the proper equipment uh, for the scope that you're viewing. Now, uh, like I say, they do make telescopes that are made for solar viewing and they can do everything from you can see the, the texture of the uh, surface to the flares coming off the corona area of the outskirts of the sun. So, but anyway, this allows you, like I say, just to view the sun and uh, uh, see what see what you can see, and if there's any uh, sunspots or anything like that. And there are there are there are websites you can go to that'll show you the, the picture of the surface of the sun for the day, and it'll show you if there's any uh, 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 sunspots to be to be found, and or if you just want to view the sun just to view the sun. Uh, but anyway, that's something that you can use this telescope for. And uh, uh, anyway, have fun.